Alright, hello and welcome to the first episode of the Collective Voice Podcast. I am your host, Juan, joined today with uh, Jocko. Jocko, you want to say what's up? What's up, everyone? <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, the format of this podcast, we're going to have new vi- new episodes, try to be every week with uh, different guests. This week is going to be with Jocko. Uh, basically talk about YouTube, pop culture, YouTube drama, gaming, all that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, we have today Jocko. Uh, Jocko, you used to be a stunting uh, stunting channel. That's how I knew you. But uh, now you're now a, a music channel. So uh, how, would, how did you transfer from gaming and stunting to now being majority music? Well, like... When I started my whole channel, it was just stunting, and I didn't really kind of stunting before I even made the channel. Mm-hmm. I kind of just decided that I'd start uploading it, and then I got involved with the whole community, which mm-hmm. at the time, like, like the stunting community was sick. Um, Dick stunting with a few other guys and obviously um got into evolve which i'd probably say was one of the bigger teams definitely yeah Um, (laughs) so that that was kind of achievement for me i guess to get into evolve when did you join evolve What, what what year was that it um I actually have no clue. Like, I, feel like I it was can't even tell you. But I, 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 I don't remember either. So, <laughs> I think yeah, 2016 probably rings a bell the most. But yeah, yeah I like it's kind of <laughs> like all yeah the whole the stunting scene shit, but... is just like it's really died down. Like yeah, I mean, evolve, yeah it's unfortunate. Evolve, yeah, it, it really is because evolve. I mean, Evolve uploaded a montage hmm, yesterday, two days ago. I don't know, but it was like, or it was Massa's. It was Massa's solo montage. It was insane. Hey, I did, I did see that, but I haven't, yeah. I haven't watched it. It was like, it was probably the most insane solo anybody has ever made in the stunting community. But like, the yeah. thing is, nobody could, nobody could ever top that even. So like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like the, the community can't get any bigger or any better than it already is so it does i feel like 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 i feel like stunting as a whole didn't get it as it like deserved in a way yeah. like um because to see like games like example call of duty trick shotting at one stage mm-hmm. was huge like massive like millions of views yeah. and obviously um I'd say FaZe Clan at one point or another was probably the leading when it came to just like COD commentaries and whatever. Yeah. I just never understood like with the amount of views and stuff that Evolve and Nomad Union got on actual team targets. Mm-hmm. I'm just I feel like the the actual solos and everything should have done so much better, but they just I know didn't. It, it's it's just really weird, you know. It was it like 2015 views popped, like yeah, people were definitely. getting views all the time. Evolve went from like 10k to 50k in like yeah, dude. super fast, but yeah. yeah. And then now they've just like capped at like 53k, I think, is what they're at right now, but. Yeah, I, I swear they've been at 53k for a, a while now. <laughs> yeah, they've been there for like, a very long time. It's It just goes yeah. to show how slow the community is growing. If I mean, yeah. granted, the community isn't really growing at all right now. But, I'd say it's, yeah, it's, it's just stayed how yeah. it is. It's probably died more yeah. than anything. But... Oh, absolutely. All right, so... Uh, kind of switching gears to talk about the content you're making now you're making a lot of music videos uh music reactions yeah. reviews stuff like that uh so uh i kind of want to talk to you about billy ellish because i went on your channel yeah. and you made like yeah. three or four videos about billy ellish and they 
popped off. You got like thousands of views on those videos. So what, what kind of, in your eyes, what made those videos pop off and like different from the other ones? Simply because it was about Billie Eilish. That is the only reason it got views. Like the whole category of someone from one genre reacting to another genre mm -hmm. automatically gets views regardless. Like mm -hmm. your video in a certain way where it's entertaining, people want to watch it. If you title it in that way, automatically just watch it. It's just, I don't know why, <laughs> but it, it just happens. Yeah. The, I mean, so I, yeah, those, those videos really, really popped off for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd seen like a few people do Billie Eilish. Um, I knew of her because of, I knew she was like, she's only young and she's a singer, but she's into the whole hip hop music. So I thought, mm -hmm. yeah, to her music and then kind of the whole hip hop someone that's into hip hop in the title, whatever. I, I forgot what I even named it, but, um, and yeah, she's, you know, you know, stands like the, the diehard fans every yeah. artist has. Mm -hmm. Um, she's got a big, group she has, of like, diehard fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like real diehard fans. Like, mm -hmm. um, like, Con constant just yeah Stalking some videos it. that i upload now they're still commenting can yeah. you react to billy eilish and it's like <laughs> do you think you yeah. would like if she made a new song would you react to it probably but then it's i feel i don't know it's kind of one of those weird things that i i would do it and particularly gets views but then i feel like the people that will watch that watch what else i'm making mm -hmm. it's just for that video so it's that's true i kind of look at it as them down like if they subscribe to me to watch billy eilish reactions and then i'm not really doing billy eilish reactions because it's just not something that i want to do all the time then Oh yeah, I'm kind of put off doing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. Um, Cause it's um <laughs> next level fans like yeah. So I, I have a question for you on that. Uh, are you like are you a fan of her music? Yeah, hundred percent. She's um like insanely talented. Sorry if you can hear a plane flying over as well. <laughs> You're good. Um. <laughs> She's really good. Like, me the most is her age. Um, yeah. How old is she? Like 16, 17? I, I think she's 16 at the moment, but like some songs at the start of it, like when she was first starting off in her career or whatever, she was like 13 or some shit. Jeez. Which that just blows my mind that someone so young can achieve so much at such a young age yeah. and just have this incredible talent yeah blows my mind i don't know what her most popular song is but i i remember listening to it myself and i was i was not a fan of it i mean i haven't yeah, heard yep. i haven't heard much of her other music so i'm not saying like i'm a i'm a hater of her but the yeah. one fan I or the one song that I did listen to, I was not a huge fan of, but uh, so maybe I'll have to check her out a little bit more and listen to her other stuff. Definitely, yeah, definitely yeah. check out some of her other songs because she's really good. Like I, I wouldn't say that I listen to her in the car and shit. Like I've listened to her music, I've listened to her songs, and I can appreciate her talent. Mm -hmm. I can appreciate how good she is, but I wouldn't say that I actually listen to it all the time, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right, so uh, you've also been making a couple, uh, like, what happened to videos. I know recently you did a what happened to Flowrider, uh, what happened to yeah, yeah. LMFAO. Uh, what kind of caused you to make those videos and, like, 
what interests you? Like, do, do you were you a bit uh, were you a big fan of them previously before they went away? Really, like, um, things that I've done on the guys so far, I haven't really been a fan. I never really was a fan of any of them, but mm -hmm. like. <laughs> I just thought of the idea because like I, I just hear an LMFAO song come on the radio and whatever happened to these dudes yeah. and well, other people out there have thought the same thing because mm -hmm. um, I did, I think I did, I've done one on Neo, Pitbull and Flow Rider. They all did pretty average views like, um better than my normal but um off where the lmfao one currently at 105 000 views which for me Jeez, is that's crazy yeah. <laughs> wow yeah 106 000. so for some reason um want to know whatever happened to lmfao that's crazy damn um, you also made uh, a few videos about the six nine situation. Like, how do you, how do you feel about yes. that situation? Like, do you think he's gonna be locked away it's... for a long ass time? A hundred percent, he's probably gonna be locked away for a long time. Um, yeah, I was a fan of six nine's music, like, not the most. Mm -hmm even know how what you'd call his music but it's definitely hype <laughs> um, oh yeah for sure my whole thing on it was that prime you have to do the time it's simple as oh, that yeah. he chose to get involved with whatever he was involved with mm -hmm. and obviously it caught up to him um yeah it really it really sucks because he as much as I'm not a huge fan of his music, he did have like yeah. a huge fan base supporting him and like yeah, 100%, so yeah. much, so much like growth that he could have had, but he chose yeah. to just be a dumbass and then it fucking cost a, him his career. Yeah. Yeah. yeah really pretty did. much. Uh, kind of looked at it as a, um, I wouldn't say success story as in like, I'm pretty sure beforehand he was poor. His father died. He went through s some pretty harsh struggles in the yeah. early stages of his life. Turn himself into this like, crazy, like he blew up. Yeah, so fast. fast. Like, yeah, I don't think I've seen anyone blow up as fast as he did and get as big as he did in such a short amount of time. Yeah, which absolutely crazy. Is insane saying like he's the fact that he was able to do that is crazy and turn his whole life around but mm -hmm. to be involved in those crimes um to be involved in whatever pa petty gang crime that he was involved in whilst he was still like bringing in all this money from fame i just so dumb as soon as as soon as he saw that he was starting to pop off, I would cut all ties with that mm -hmm. previous gang um, gang relations or whatever you want to call it and yeah. just get out of there, like, get rid of that. It's just a really shitty situation for him. And, like, it sucks that he's going to be away for a long-ass time, but, like, you know, you got to just be smarter yeah. than that, especially when you're in his position. Exactly, yeah. And I feel like for five years, he's probably going to come back and will be his big... Um, his time would have passed already. Like, Yeah, absolutely. Um, Dick is... Say it sounds the same, but it all sounds kind of similar except for a few songs, like the the shouting mm -hmm. hype well like if you look at his most recent album every single song name is like 
Z Z <laughs> Kiki Kiki weird shit. Yeah. yeah, it's just like fucking random letters, just like capitalized. It, it's really just like literally, yeah. <laughs> it has zero meaning at all. It's just made up words. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking crazy. Um, yeah, I just think that once he gets out, whenever he does get out, whether it's in five years, I feel like minimum he's going to be doing. If if they've got him up for, I think it's years. I think. Um, How many? That's years did you say? what they cut out a second. I think um, twenty five years. I'm 25. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Jeez. Yeah. Um, going through all the legal shit and whatever else, but yeah. for five years and he comes out. I don't reckon he'll, he'll, um, he's, he'll die off. Like his music won't be, won't be as big as it used to be. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. The, the past or whatever the fucking saying is that. Yeah. It's just <laughs> at the stage of his career where he was really popping off. He was at, he's pretty much at the peak of his career, I think. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. all died, so yeah. definitely an interesting situation there. <laughs> yeah, um, hundred percent. Um, so kind of switching up to the YouTube side of things. Um, yeah, yeah. I just kind of want to ask you. So, if you go on YouTube right now, what type of content would you be looking at? Like, if a video popped up. In your sub box, what type of videos are you watching? Okay, so I whole subscri- like subscriptions list, and I'd subscribe from a lot of people because mm-hmm. in my sub box that I just did not watch anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the moment, um, watch. I don't know if you've heard of a YouTuber called Birdman. Um, it's, Rings a bell. It's like, but... it's almost like opposing or um, going up against like social justice warriors in a way. Uh, like, gotcha. Like a lot of like feminism or anti anti Semitic shit. It's yeah. It's hard to explain. It's like the see on Twitter those like ridiculous posts where it's like it's beyond actual feminism. Like it's yeah, like just ridiculous stuff. He kind of he way and says like this is stupid. Like. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, I don't really. <laughs> so just know like, how to just like it. roasting, like people kind of for being just r- roasting, roasting people. Um, for just like being ignorant. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, that I watch PewDiePie. Uh huh. What What do you What do you think PewDiePie about for a while? But yeah, what do you, What do you think about that whole situation? If uh. Uh, PewDiePie versus T Series. <laughs> I mean, PewDiePie has been. How long's he? Do you know how long he's been the most subscribed channel for? It's been like it's been over like three years. I know that. It, I, it's a thousand like two hundred days, something something around that. It's been crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But. I feel like it's gonna happen. Like T series will. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I'm. I just want it to be him to last until 2019, and yeah. then then yeah. somebody can overtake him. But I mean, I'd ra- I'd rather just have him stay through 2018 as the most subscribed, and then it would yeah. it would it would yeah. count as a win for me. Yeah, exactly. It, it's bound to happen. Um, oh, yeah. With the, especially with the growth that T-Series is 
is like projecting. I, I feel like they kind of just like I'd never even heard of him yeah. before this whole. Didn't I? Never, not once, had I even heard of them. Yeah. It's uh, really it, it, it strange. just kind of popped out of nowhere, and then yeah. Just kind of like hopped on the scene and just said, "I'm going to be the most subscribed now." So <laughs> they they really just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Beast kind of kind of saved him there too. Did you see that video? Hundred percent. Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's actually incredible what he was able to do yeah. and the amount of money he must have spent just to. Oh, I know crazy but but it's also because like but he's all he also made so much money from that from that video yeah. back because everybody exactly. watched that video and yeah. i mean that's kind of what i'm pretty know, sure it's was, it was trending for ages as well oh, i'm sure yeah but like that video basically started this whole movement of yeah. getting pewdiepie to most subscribed i mean granted he made like the music <laughs> video and stuff but I mean, I, yeah. I remember Social Blade made a tweet, and it was like, in, within the next 12 hours, PewDiePie will no longer be the most subscribed. And that was like two or three yeah. months ago. And it's just crazy how much, or like how how long this fight has been going on, basically. Literally. I've seen so much, like, kids out in the street. <laughs> I, I saw a video on a channel. And these kids were out in the street, like holding up signs yep. saying "Subscribe to PewDiePie in the rain." Yeah, I saw that um, video too. Australia, um, that works at Bunnings, which is like a huge hardware store. Oh yeah, um, I saw that. Where he goes on the intercom and like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. That whole. I, I guess in a way, he's kind of yeah. started it. Like he. Yeah, he really did. Oh, I. <laughs> I mean, and like, yeah, you go. Sorry, <laughs> I keep cutting you off. Even <laughs> not that's cool. It's so good. Um, even like on Twitter and shit, every tweet that I see, completely unrelated, somewhere <laughs> in the in the comments or whatever, it, there's a subscribe to PewDiePie. Yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> gone viral. Absolutely. I mean, like. And have you heard the the controversies with him recently about like all like the Washington Journal or Washington, Dude. yeah, Washington Journal, I don't, Wait, I don't Wall, Wall Street yeah, Wall Street Journal, Journal. Yeah. yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah, and like all these other news publications who are like trying to pose PewDiePie as this anti-Semitism and like Nazi uh, and fucking don't crazy. understand how it's not illegal, like how yeah. he can't just sue them and. Yeah, like that's definitely all it is. is yeah. yeah, because the, exactly. I mean, they they're posing him as like this fucking leader who just shoves these Nazi beliefs down his viewers' throats, which is completely wrong. Exactly. Uh, it's it's just false information. It's just a made up bullshit story to make people think that PewDiePie is this and fucked up person when he's really not at all mm -hmm. like a lot of people that do she has never they've never actually watched a pewdiepie video like if you if you see an article from which I, i'm pretty sure is considered a pretty um reputable news source yeah a reputable news source they're saying that the biggest YouTuber is anti-Semitic, Nazi, yeah. else they call him. And you don't know who he is. You've just seen them say it. Mm -hmm. Most likely, you're going to believe that shit. You, you're just going to read that and think, oh, fuck, this yeah. is a massive YouTuber. is a Nazi. And then you tell someone, and then they <laughs> tell someone, and then continuing well, cycle... You... Did, did you see that video of the uh, the teacher who's yeah, like, dude. yeah, <laughs> this uh, for those of you that don't know that this there's this teacher that uh, one of his students recorded this, but uh, this teacher was telling all of his students to 
like stop promoting PewDiePie. PewDiePie promotes genocide, anti-Semitism, Nazis, like all this bad shit. And like this, this teacher has that, that is no a idea. Teacher. Yeah, I can't believe that like somebody who works in public education is allowed to say that when they are completely uninformed about the situation. It's actual insanity that someone that is to teach or or whatever, someone's job is to teach. Yeah. Won't even thing before like misinforming all these people. Like he would have just read the article, read the um, Wall Street Journal title. And then from that, he's fucking, it's this complete bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And he, um, said, he said something like, uh, if you retweet one of PewDiePie's tweets, you can be fined for supporting this anti-Semitic. For if, if PewDiePie were ever sued, like you could be also involved in the case because you retweeted it. I like Dude, you have no idea how any of this works. Zero idea. And it's someone that, an, an actual teacher, yeah. which is the scariest part. Right? I know. And like that, that's yeah. just, that's just, the, those are, that's just the teacher that's been recorded. Like, I'm sure there's other people, other teachers, other like reputable people or supposedly reputable 100%. people saying these, this nonsense to younger people or other people. And just like, it's, it's not only hurting PewDiePie, but it also hurts other YouTubers because then other YouTubers oh, get sure, yeah. just like, oh, why would you watch a YouTuber when the biggest creator is promo is promoting genocide? Yeah, it, it, exactly. It hurts the entire platform when these, these publications are like posting that shit. I honestly think it's that they don't believe in what they're like advertising or how can you actually believe that PewDiePie is a anti-Semitic fucking whatever they label yeah. him to be like it's just it, bullshit in my, I, it, in my opinion I think they see this this like increase in subscribers that PewDiePie is getting and like all this talk around him and I think they're just trying to nitpick little things to just try to, like, make a story and just, like, get clicks on their story. And Exactly. I think almost what they're doing is... I would almost consider it a troll, but then people are going to be pissed off because it's not true, which gets it clicks, so yeah. they just keep doing it in a way. Um yeah. It, it's, it's, it's just dangerous really, yeah it really is <laughs> uh, it's just right. putting false information in people's heads it's i know it's up. it really is all right so um well i guess before we move on so you're a yeah. you, you're a music channel did you hear bitch lasagna did you hear that song that PewDiePie made. Yeah, yeah, I did hear it. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't like listen to it all the time, but yeah. it was definitely catchy. Yeah, I actually like for a for a YouTuber created song. I think that was one of the one of the better ones, especially hundred percent when, when when you got people like KSI and like all these other try to be have you diss tracks. Uh, what were you saying? You know, Qu Quebble Cop. Have you heard Quebble Cop's fucking Quebble Cop? He made a song. He's... No, his girlfriend did. Um, <laughs> absolute garbage. Like it oh makes me sick. What's, what's her name? What's her name? Nice looking girl, but fuck, this song is bad. I'm sorry. What was what was the name? Your mic cut out for a second. Some um, Azzy Land. Oh A -Z. my gosh! Yes. Yeah. Keemstar had that video on his uh, on his drama alert 
I don't know, a few nights ago, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> The oh. fact that it has 177,000 likes. What? Yeah. I don't know. Oh <laughs> like, gosh. That was horrendous. What's I mean, it, it has it's a hundred... called, like, money, right? Money. It's oh her... Mostly almost naked throughout the whole video. Oh, gosh. And Just that's, flexing. That's Quebble shit. Cop's girlfriend? Quebble's girlfriend. A uh, ten-year-old fan base. Jeez, I did not know yeah. that. That's crazy. I'm not actually sure if she's still dating Quebel Cop, but I know they did. Oh, okay. Well, still, that's <laughs> just does not seem like the type of girl for Quebel Cop, but <laughs> that's just. <me>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess other diss tracks. Did you get to hear or get to listen to the KSI versus like Quedeca diss tracks? Hello? Did I lose you? Appears we have some sound issues. Um. I think we will return once those get figured out real quick. And we are back. Sorry about that. Uh, what were you talking about? <laughs> Did I, I asked you uh, Kodaka versus KSI, right? Yeah, so I I honestly didn't really follow the whole beef at all. I saying shit on drama alert and everything, but I have a clue on how the whole... Like, what caused the whole thing to start? So, basically, it was... KSI was on a podcast with uh, some of the Sidemen. I forgot who they are. I don't really follow the Sidemen. But he was on a podcast, and they were talking about the best YouTube rappers. And KSI basically said, Quedeca's shit. Uh, KSI is the best YouTube rapper ever. Uh, basic nonsense coming from KSI. But... Uh -huh. <laughs> and then Kodaka responded to that with a diss track of his own. And Kodaka's diss track, like, low-key slapped. And it was, like, like it was definitely... Actually the, good? Yeah, it was, it was one of the best diss tracks I've ever heard from a YouTube rapper. I mean, I think he's, like, a legitimate rapper. But he is 18 years yeah. old, so he doesn't have a whole lot of time under it on his... Uh, under his uh, belt so yeah but and then ksi returned with another diss track and it was not that i mean people liked it i was not a huge fan i still think granted i'm not a huge ksi fan either but i think kodeka yeah. just killed him are you are you a ksi fan really i had oh she shit i've never really like up to date on all that drama and stuff but yeah. i remember hearing his song purple lamborghini um <laughs> it's pure dog shit so <laughs> yeah it, it, i, I kind of just stopped there yeah the thing is like he thinks he's so much better than he actually is like he thinks that like, his his lyrics are on like another level and it's just ridiculous how somebody could be that blind to how actually bad they are and it's crazy if he did not did not have the following that he did and he tried to make it as a rapper he wouldn't make it oh it's not simple as that all. like he yeah. he only does numbers and shit because he has exactly his following already i get yes that's um, basically like and i guess so what were you saying keep going kind, it kind of just boosts his um, his ego he's yeah yeah 100 percent. and so then he gets all these numbers thinks he's amazing when mm -hmm. really it's just followers um it's this whole god complex like, whatever. like he thinks he's a god compared to other people it's <laughs> okay I, good. <laughs> I mean I, i'm gonna I, I was okay did you watch the ksi versus logan paul fight 
Uh, no. I watched, like, everything about it and the, yeah. the pre, pre-match, pre whatever, but no, I didn't, I didn't actually even watch the fight. Yeah, that was just a very, uh, like, I, I, that was when I was rooting for KSI, and I was a KSI fan because I hated Logan Paul, so, yeah. but then... After the fight, he just became just like... I mean, granted, he's always been a douchebag, but after the fight, it just seemed like he just upped it to another level. And I don't know. I'm just Good not night. not a huge fan of him anymore. <laughs> Thing like... Would have planned all of that. I feel like the... Wasn't there like beef at the start between them and then... Between Logan absolutely. and KSI? Is that who you're talking about? I'm between Logan and KSI. Yeah, yeah. There oh, is huge uh, beef between them. Then I just feel like it's it was all planned. It was all publicity stunt. Oh, I, I, I completely agree. They, and especially, granted, I don't know if it actually was planned to be a tie, but it ended in a tie, which made it seem Dude, like it's it's too it's yeah. I remember seeing a, th- a thing. One of the Paul brothers, um, he said somewhere that his aim or his goal in life was to become the first. Um, oh my gosh! Yes, like and U- UFC UFC fighter, right? Yeah. So yeah. some something. Yes, they these dudes are smart when it comes to making money. One hundred percent sure. Yeah. So this whole scheme, doing. they've made up this beef. They's they've obviously spoke to each other and said like we're going to arrange a fight. Yep. So they would have made both made like I, I don't know the exact amount, but one hundred percent they would have made heaps of money. Yep. And then by tying it, it just gives them that little bit, um, little bit more well, to. Like, yeah. Well, what they all talked about was this rematch, and like exactly. Yeah. So they they want more, more I, money. I, yeah, it made complete sense that it ended in a tie because then it just gives more incentive to people to buy the rematch. Fight. Buy tickets. Gamble. Yeah gamble on the fight um i feel like there's there's no doubt in my mind that that was planned yeah it was just uh, (laughs) just a fucking weird situation there yeah yeah, definitely (laughs) (laughs) all right um i guess kind of switching gears youtube rewind what'd you think about it I didn't even watch it all, but pure dog shit. <laughs> like, I, so bad. Like, I don't know how they managed to mess up YouTube Rewind so bad. It uh, it's just blows my mind that made by YouTube is YouTube's most disliked video. Yep. Like, if that doesn't say something, then... <laughs> yeah. It's just like YouTube is so disconnected with what viewers on YouTube are actually watching and are interested in. Exactly. Exactly. Like they, as much as I, they, sorry, you go, you go. Sorry, I keep cutting you off, dude. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's all good. Guess, like I can understand as they're trying to do the whole family friendly. Mm-hmm. YouTube isn't just family friendly, and if they keep trying to push this whole, I, it's almost like they've turned it into is a thing for kids in a way. I, I don't know. It's like hard to explain because it's obviously not for kids, but I don't understand why it has to be so family friendly. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, they're, I think they're just trying to push this advertiser-friendly kind of like 
Exactly. And like just keep their advertisers there and they they grab the YouTubers that are advertiser friendly and ignore the ones that aren't, but the ones that aren't are the ones that the community really engages with. So yeah. without having the PewDiePie, who is the most subscribed YouTuber, to the most subscribed YouTuber is yeah, not even on it. Like it, it's especially Granted, this T-Series PewDiePie thing came up within the last few months, and I don't know when they recorded YouTube Rewind, but the PewDiePie versus T-Series was one of the biggest storylines of 2018. And the fact yeah, that they definitely. had neither T-Series mentioned or PewDiePie mentioned is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> even even the, the Jake Paul, uh, the Logan Paul and KSI yeah. fight, they, yeah. there was no mention of it at all, and that was probably one of the most talked about. Exactly. Biggest things in the whole YouTube um, community, and they just won't cover it because yeah. it's not whatever like yeah. it's just ridiculous it's not actually i know that that whole rewind is not actually youtube in a way i guess i mean youtube did put out a tweet um like once they did make or once it became the most disliked video saying that they're gonna try to that they're gonna try to listen to the community and like make it better next year but we'll see how that actually ends i don't up. believe that shit yeah no nah. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's actually going to change anything, but we'll see. At the end of the day, they would have had a massive scare once all that shit happened with PewDiePie. Yeah. Um, all these massive companies pulling their ads, um, mm -hmm. like the, the stocks or whatever you want to call it dropped massively after that. Like the, yeah. they lost a lot of money. Um, yeah. and that for them would have been a huge scare, but they're trying, they're trying too much to make it into something it's really not. And yeah, I honestly don't know. <laughs> YouTube is a lot different. I know. Just a bit. I think the biggest communities are the, the people that aren't afraid to like speak the truth and like be edgy and exactly make the, make the, yeah make the edgier content and i think that's the biggest community people like that shit. yeah because they don't want to be like they want to they don't want to see this fabricated life that these fucking random youtubers portray in their videos like they want it they exactly. want to they want it to be real and yes yeah, so, see a lot of the family friendly it's just all bullshit like yeah. it's not real mm -hmm. It's just a lot oh, they of are content. like it applies to ch it's just for children and mm -hmm. children what brings in the most money so if they a safer place for children and safer place for the advertisers then it's more money for them in a way but yeah <laughs> who own videos now i try not to swear but then i just swear like yeah. i can't help it and it, like the, the, for the, me is yeah keep going it's just hard to not do it and it's i feel like it's fake of me in a way to not like that, that's what i'm saying like it as much as swearing like is is bad and like you really shouldn't do it but it's yeah. just like it becomes like who you are and that's your personality and that's how you talk so why fake that for a camera and like it's just it just becomes fabricated at that point and then people don't want to watch that so because they want to watch the real you and that's why they subscribe so yeah a hundred percent i i feel like i don't know that they're, they're turning away real people in a way and if you're some like kid friendly thing they'll promote you but it's kind of taking away from what youtube actually yeah or was i guess well there was a there was a thing and uh that came out and it was the most uh most paid youtubers 
of all time or of 2018. And the biggest yeah. one was like a seven year old who unboxes toys, which is like <laughs> the most family friendly, advertiser friendly, most cookie cutter like creator yeah. possible. Because and... that's, I'm guessing that's perfect for them advertiser wise. Yeah. And like that's who they want to promote the most. So, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And I don't know if you've got like uh, any younger siblings, but I don't. But <laughs> keep going. <laughs> there's this there's this shit called YouTube Kids, right? And yeah. before, and what they do is their parents will give them an iPad and playing like kids videos like the some of it is the most random shit that i've seen oh and yes yeah it's insane amount of views like incredible mm -hmm. I, i've seen um, some of those videos and it's just like it makes no sense what they're talking about but like they pull zero just, sense. Like, the most insane number of views it's, it's ridiculous <laughs> and f somehow like mm, this kid at work and he was he was on an ipad watching random youtube videos and they're just pop like i didn't even realize you could get that many ads on one video but oh my gosh well so many ads on it like I, I was shocked because he's <laughs> hand ready over the skip ad button yeah because he knew it was coming like <laughs> In. um Jeez. and i guess that youtube knows that that's what happens so they promote the absolute most they just promote it as much as they can because these kids are watching it and that's yeah. probably where most of their money's coming in from yeah oh. uh, so kind of sad like, that it's turned into that yeah i know it, it really is but uh kind of to talk about something similar to that um lily singh lily singh recently made a tweet about dude the the forbes top 10 list of most paid youtubers and she basically made a tweet that said uh fuck where is it uh the tweet said two years ago it was almost even between male and female last year it was just me and this year there are no females at all Something I predicted in my Instagram caption last year. I'm concerned the digital space is going to repeat the mistakes of ancient industries. Hope I'm wrong. So she's talking about how uh, the Forbes top 10 brain is dead. all men. <laughs> and uh, she's basically saying that it's sexist towards female creators, which makes no sense. <laughs> Zero sense. I don't actually understand what to achieve or what message she was trying to push by even this tweet like corresponding to that uh forbes list like list right of who made the most money who almost i guess you'd say who got the most views and brand deals whatever yeah YouTube does not pay a female less than they'll pay a male. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, obviously, the more family friendly you are, the more money you make, whatever. But has it been about gender at all? So, it, yeah, it's pretty little, much. Yeah. Keep going. This is pretty much just. I like. Yeah, there was no females this year. It's not because they're female. <laughs> One of the most ridiculous claims that I've yeah. ever... I guess I, I, I couldn't wrap my head around yeah. why. Like what to achieve or push or what she was even angry about. Mm -hmm. Well, like, and, and the Forbes list, it, it's like a generalization of... It, it's it yeah, is it's, a, not, it's not it's, accurate yeah it's a, it's, it's a probably guess. well estimate rough estimate 
like taken off of Social Blade of who are the most, the most like, who made the most money in 2018. Actually, so like, it's yeah. not even it, it's not even discriminatory. It's literally facts, or basically exactly. facts. So like, I don't understand how somebody can argue with the numbers that are literally right in front of you. Ah, uh, so. dude, it just it really like. When I saw it, why, like, <laughs> it's, it almost was like, into, to, like, like, the extreme feminism group, like, extreme feminism or feminism, whatever, would have seen that and thought, yeah, like, fuck these men yeah. making more money because the wage gap, whatever, and, <laughs> Some of them would have thought, yeah, fucked up, um, all men are pigs, whatever. Yeah. I just don't understand how she could wrap her head around. What? How? How <laughs> is it? Well, <laughs> like, this, is the, this is the same person who literally less than a month ago said she's going to take a break for mental health and then returns a week later with her the whole, 12 whole days video, of, heap yeah, of yeah 12 days of christmas collab videos so during her break for mental health she was creating videos she's full of shit and she she's just like trying to i just think she's full of shit and she's <laughs> trying to do whatever will we'll get her money and like get her views yeah, like the whole mental health serious thing, but people will use it as an excuse for. I guess you could use it as an excuse for ever, anything. Yeah, pretty much. Not show up somewhere, you can say, "Yeah, I've been struggling with my mental health." If you don't yeah. want to upload, yeah, mental health, like. I think. Please, it's, I think it's just like. No way. They talked about this in the YouTube rewind too about like how how much people are talking about mental health and i'm not saying like don't get me wrong mental health serious issue but i think it's becoming like oh i had a bad day i'm i'm suffering Got from mental health issues. issues yeah yeah stuff like that it's not it's not I always say to my girlfriend right like who doesn't feel anxious at one stage or another? Like, who exactly. doesn't? I, I've never met someone that does not feel anxious. Some people just feel more anxious than others. But to feel more anxious than someone else, does that mean that you have anxiety? No. <laughs> where is where is the line? Yeah. Like, I just, I don't understand it. If, if I said, like, went to a, whoever prescribes you, medication or whatever if i said to them yeah today i went to the shops and i was to speak to the person a person at the cash register like at one stage in my life i literally was too scared to talk to the person at the cash register for whatever reasons <laughs> yeah. it sounds fucking weird but it's just what i was like <laughs> um doctor or i actually don't know who prescribes like a doctor, whatever. Or a fucking, I don't know, one, one of those people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I said that to them, I would probably, I'm guessing, be put on some sort of meds eventually because. Ah, like, really anxious to not be physically able to speak to someone at a cash register for whatever reason. Like, now that I look back on it, like, how could I not just talk to someone? But, yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah. I feel like at certain stages, anxious, some people feel more anxious than others, but it doesn't mean that they have anxiety. Mm -hmm. It's something that, like, people grow out of, too. And it's not, like, Is it, yeah, a hundred percent thing. So, I, I don't, I think people just, like, have rough patches and, like, maybe something will yeah. happen and... Maybe somebody in their family passed away or some, some like really bad thing happens. And yeah, you, I mean, like you're allowed to feel sad. Like 
that's completely exactly. reasonable. But like to and everyone, to, everyone does. No one yeah. feels feels perfect all the time. Exactly. But I think I think uh, too many people are using mental health as a scapegoat, and Definitely. not not yeah. like really. They don't really have a mental health issue. So, I mean, and I could be completely wrong, and maybe all of these people do, but it, from my eyes, it does yeah. not seem like it. So, it's definitely it's one of those things that's hard to talk about because you don't want to, yeah, say oh they don't have this when maybe they do. Mm-hmm. It's it's one of those weird topics, but something that use it as an excuse for anything yeah. but you but quite possibly could use it as an excuse for anything yeah it's i feel like people topic. will will take advantage of that mm-hmm. i mean i'm sh- like people have so yeah, under, and i feel like lily singh yeah in that case said yeah i'm suffering with mental health and then a week later here's 12 videos to <laughs> rake in my revenue now that i've got a little bit more attention around my name or yeah to use it as an excuse i don't know i yeah i'm honestly not sure yeah it's it is a touchy topic but i think that there are definitely circumstances where people are bullshitting that they're that they have health issues and Um, i think sometimes people I don't know, people that won't speak it's not it's one of those things that people can't really speak out on it in a way like you don't want to say oh maybe she's just full of shit and excuse because if she's not i i don't know it's it's one of those things that i don't really talk about it because it's not yeah i, I completely it can agree, ups- yeah. yeah it can upset some people i guess mm-hmm. Um, so I think this is a good place to end. We've been talking for a very long time, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. how long has it been? I, I don't, I think it's been around an hour. Jeez. I, I was not Time expecting flies. to go this, this long, but, uh, thank you for coming on Jocko. It's been a great time talking with you. Hopefully you're, pr- you're hopefully you come on future episodes too, but, uh, hundred percent. I actually really enjoyed this. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So uh, everybody, go subscribe to Jocko. He's down in the description. Uh, thank you guys for what, listening to the first episode of the Collective Voice Podcast. This is your host, Juan. Have a great day. <laughs>